Hello and hi. Welcome to Supramolecular Chemistry 14CH3007. Today we are going to see about the pi interactions in supramolecular chemistry. So you know very well there are several interactions in supramolecular chemistry. They are all non-covalent interactions, hydrogen bonding, ion, ion, ion dipole, 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 Van der Waals, hydrophobic, as well as the pi interactions. So in this set of slides, we are going to talk about the pi interactions and what are all the categories of pi interactions. So what do you mean by a pi interaction? So these pi interactions, these are all the pi effects which are associated with the interaction of the molecules with pi system of conjugated molecules such as benzene. For example, you know if you take benzene, it has a pi electron cloud. So the conjugated molecules which have pi electron cloud, they are all involved in these type of pi interactions. How do they arise? So there is a interaction between the negatively charged pi electron cloud of one molecule and the positively charged sigma framework of the another molecule or the neighboring molecule and there is an interaction between a positive and the negative charges which gives you the pi interactions. There are four types of pi interactions. They are pi pi interaction, cation and pi interaction, anion and pi interaction, polar and pi interactions. Let us see one by one now. Pi pi interactions. The first one, the pi pi interaction, they are associated with the interaction between the pi orbitals of the molecular system. As I told before, if you take benzene, the other molecule of benzene, between those two there is an interaction. Both have electron pi electron cloud and there is an interaction between these two benzene molecules which is called as the pi pi interactions. So that can be arised due to by three ways. Two benzene molecules interact each other by three ways because of their conjugated pi cloud. The first one is the neighboring benzene ring, I mean a benzene ring and the nearby neighboring benzene ring both interaction have a pi pi interaction which is minor and that is called a sandwiched. If you have one benzene ring like this, another benzene ring they sandwich like this. So this is minor because there will be a repulsion, pi electron cloud repulsion. So they are they exist as a minor. The second one is displaced or slip stacked with an enthalpy of 2.3 kilo calories per mole. So that means you have one benzene ring like this, the other benzene ring is little displaced. It is not like a sandwich. Sandwich means like a bread sandwich. It is exactly one above the other. This one is slightly displaced or it is called as slip stacked. One benzene ring is here, the other benzene ring is nearby. The third one is benzene stacks edge to face. One benzene ring will be like this. The other benzene ring will be like this, a perpendicular way. So this is called as edge to face. So this is a face and this is the edge. So this is edge to face with an enthalpy of two kilocalories. These three are the pi pi interactions. You can see here, I told the first one is a sandwich one. This is the sandwich. So what happens here, why I am telling it is minor is, there is a repulsive forces in the face to face stacking. This is called as face to face or sandwich stacking. There is a repulsion forces between the pi electron clouds. So it exists as a minor one. The next, this one, this is edge to face. So this is edge and this is face. So the edge is positive and the face See, this, there is a pi electron cloud here and the corner they have sigma bond that is positive charge. So the positive and the negative there is an interaction. So it is called as edge to face. The third one is displaced. You can see ben one benzene ring is here, the other benzene ring is here. So the middle there is an electron cloud. 
So this electron cloud and this sigma positive charge, there is an interaction. This is called as displaced or parallel displaced or slip stacked. So these three are the pi pi interactions. In nature, you can see the shape of a DNA is due to the phase phase interactions between the base pairs along the length of the double helix. So this is this pi pi interactions is more important even for the shape of DNA. And you can take the allotrope of carbon that is the graphite. They also have face to face pi pi interactions. The second type that is cation pi interactions as the name tells it is between a cation and a pi electron cloud. So there are several examples. One such example is a sodium ion can easily sit on the top of a pi electron cloud in a benzene molecule or you can take a ferrocene molecule. So what happens the cation pi interactions involve the positive charge of the cation interacting with the pi electrons in a pi system of a molecule like benzene, naphthalene, anth anthracene etc. These are sometimes very strong more than hydrogen bonding and has many applications in the area of chemical sensors. The third one is anion pi interaction. This is just a reverse of cation pi interactions wherein instead of a cation you have an anion here. But one may wonder that is also an anion and the pi electron cloud is also negative. There should be repulsive forces. How could be there exist an interaction between these two? Certain pi electron conjugated molecules, they are electron poor systems due to the electron withdrawing group attached to those systems. So in that case, when the anion is more electron rich, so you have an interaction, those type of interactions called as anion pi interactions. The last one is the polar pi interactions. So the polar pi interactions involve molecules with permanent dipoles like water. So they interact with the quadrupole moment of the pi system such as that in benzene. So what do you mean by a quadrupole moment? So this quadrupole arises from an uneven distribution of charge inside a molecule. For example, if you take a benzene molecule, it has both positive and negative charges. The sigma bonds have a small positive charge and the pi electron cloud has a negative charge. So there is an uneven distribution between the positive and negative charge at a point of time. So this has an interaction with a dipole, a water molecule, which has a dipole in it. These two interactions is called as polar pi interactions. They are not strong as cation pi interaction, but they are about 1 to 2 kilocalories per mole. So you can see this very commonly in protein folding and crystallinity of solids. So when you have a hydrogen bond donor, you know what you mean by hydrogen bond donor or hydrogen bonding, wherein a hydrogen atom is attached to a strong electronegative atom, will have favorable electrostatic interactions with the pi electron rich system of a conjugated molecules. So when these two have an interactions, then they are called as polar pi interactions. So in this current set of slides, we have seen about pi interactions. There are four types, pi pi interaction, in that three types, and then you have your cation pi interaction, anion pi interaction, and polar pi interactions. Thank you and best wishes.